Hello everyone, my name is Nate Lex and welcome back to Xdex. If it's your first time here, I'm so glad to have you. We've seen a lot of new followers follow our Instagram page and our YouTube channel since uh, the Cardistry Con or Cardistry Con San Diego 2022. And so I just wanna let you know that I'm happy to have you. Today, I'm going to be teaching you a special move called Ballard and it looks a little something like this. Ballard or the name was inspired by my middle name, which is Ballard and spelled the same way. Um, and my friend James, who works at a local coffee shop near me, says that I should name it this when I showed him. So that's what we're gonna call it. Uh, also, if you haven't followed my friend moshpit.meditation on Instagram, you should follow him. His flow is great, and I was also brainstorming with him some names. But without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial for Ballard. All right, everybody, and now it is time for the tutorial for Ballard. It looks a little something like this. I'm going to teach it to you today. Um, it's one of my signatures. It's a really fun one. That was a horrible spin and let's get into it So the prerequisites for this move include the revolution cut and a tornado cut Now I have not taught this one yet to you guys, so I'll probably teach it to you next week, but there were a lot of good um, uh, Prerequisite kind of moves when we taught you guys Ali last week So if you've already learned Ali then you're going to have a leg up on this tutorial because there are some similar functions of how the move spins. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start in your dealer's grip hand. Your dominant hand is going to come over and do a biddle grip on top. Now I want your biddle grip to grab um, right here. So your middle and your ring finger um, are going to be on the very far corner, uh, right side if you're a righty, left side if you're a lefty. Uh, and I want half of your ring finger on it and all of your middle finger on it. Because what's gonna happen is this bottom corner here is going to contact this big fleshy muscle of your thumb and pull off five to seven cards, maybe 10, but a comfortably small packet. And it's also going to contact your ring side. So you should be like this. The packet is going to be between that fleshy part of your hand and with your ring finger. Now, if you haven't done this before, this is going to be very knacky and kind of hard to do, but you can kind of just practice balancing and, and spinning. And I'll teach that kind of in the tornado cut, but you'll learn it here. So you put it underneath. If this is the fleshy part, see how the part of my dealer's grip is sinking into my hand there. That's where you want that packet underneath. See how you can't see the bottom corner? That's how I want it. So you have the rest of the half in your dealer's grip hand at the bottom and the other portion of the deck up here between your middle and your thumb. And what happens is that tip of your middle thing, finger, not finger, middle finger right here is going to grab the top short side of this packet and rotate over like this to get it to go one rotation like this. Now what's cool is your middle finger is probably going to be able to pull it halfway like this. Then your middle finger can touch that long side and pull it again. So it'll look like this. Sometimes you'll be able to get a pull, but it, it's got kind of a rhythm to it. There are beats. So one, two, and you can practice pulling with that middle one, two, you guys can see where my middle finger is contacting one pull over two pull over. That's pretty easy. That's essentially the tornado cut. I'll do a whole tutorial for that later, but you essentially you've got it. You can actually uh, spin it both ways, which we will do, I think, in this tutorial. If I remember how to do this. Yeah, we'll do it both ways. <laughs> Can't even remember my own move. Excuse me while I scratch my eye. So what's going to happen is you're going to pull that packet over like this. Right here, since your thumb is open on your dealer's grip hand, you're going to contact the top middle and pull one off onto your dealer's grip hand. That's going to get you into position so that your pinky is at this top left corner, top right corner if you're a righty. And it's actually going to turn down. So have that pinky rotate that corner and pull it. I guess that would be counterclockwise almost like this. And your pinky can do that twice. So this is my favorite. So I go here, open, slide back over. And that could be that could be the whole move if you wanted. You can almost do a simplified version of uh, Ballard, but you pull once. Oh, we're gonna just leave that card then, I guess. Um, <laughs> I missed it with my foot. There, slide one over like this. Pinky comes in, and then the ring or pinky, whatever's there, can rotate it back. So from the beginning, we've got packet pull between the ring and the thumb. The middle finger comes over, pulls that over in a rotation, pulls it over again. Thumb contacts the top middle, slides one off. Pinky rotates it around. Maybe if your ring finger is more convenient there, ring finger rotates it around. That's what I do. And here's the cool thing. Here's where I add. The top packet, this top one right here, breaks off like you're gonna do a swing cut. This hand 
is going to push past that rotated packet like this. So it's still between this fleshy part of your hand. It's gonna rotate this way and your middle and your thumb on your dealer's grip hand are going to grab this packet right here and pull it over. It's gonna readjust a little bit and do a revolution cut, um, but that is very complicated. That's probably the hardest part of the move if you guys aren't used to doing these type of packet spins. So we're gonna go open one, spin two, pull one off, pinky rotates, ring rotates the rest. Then this hand comes over while this packet does a swing cut or breaks off the packet like this. This middle finger and this thumb take the bottom packet and also as a tip to make sure you're holding this right, use your pinky in the bottom of your dealer's grip packet. It'll really help you hold this so that the packet can just sit there and you don't have to worry about it when you're grabbing stuff with your middle and thumb. So because it's face down, this packet, third packet's face down here, you rotate it back using your middle finger and just by turning your wrist over, the middle finger and thumb grab this packet and index if you can really reach it, but I do middle and thumb just so your index can help hold this packet. And you pull it over like this, you pull it across. And when you get here, in the middle of it, if you can, while you're pulling over, you can readjust your index and start a revolution cut. So your index and thumb push forward, your ring comes all the way back down here to catch it, finish that revolution cut and open, it can close. Your ring or your pinky, I think ring is probably most comfortable here. Ring makes contact on the way back here, flips that over once, flips it over twice, and this can all close together. And then what I do, this is, I think I've seen people do this before, it's not my original thing, but you put this knuckle right here from your index finger in the middle of the card, and from biddle grip, you bring your middle finger over, and you spin it, and you kind of pull. So you would do, this, this is slow motion of it happening, so you imitate exactly what I'm doing. Middle finger comes over, and my hand rotates clockwise like this, with my index making contact on the front so that it completes a whole rotation. I'm going to go over that one more time, but that is essentially Ballard. So let's go over it again, and you've just learned it. So from the beginning, middle grip at the top, ring finger on the corner, middle right next to it, breaks off five to seven, 10 cards, depends on what size you wanna do. Um, I kind of recommend the bigger half of these packets, the bottom and the top one, be in the top. I feel like it gives you more control to do that. Um, don't let the smallest packet be in the top. So very smallest packets in the middle, bigger half at the top, smaller half at the bottom. Middle finger pulls that over, middle finger pulls it over again. Make sure this packet isn't too small because you want to be able to pull a card off comfortably. Pinky contacts that to turn it over and get this card fully on that packet. Ring pulls it over again. This bottom hand rotates over while the top hand cuts off a packet to come grab. So you're kind of like losing this packet when I turn over to look, but this is how it looks from the bottom. So you're going like this, middle and thumb grab. While you're pulling it across to the other hand, you can readjust and start your rev cut. When that closes, your ring finger can come back and make contact with this top corner, and that pulls it over once, pulls it over twice, slaps back down. So at speed, oh, that's a horrible way to do it. At speed, it kind of looks like this. Oh, I can't even do it because I'm like sitting back weird in this chair. It's much easier sat over yourself using gravity to help you. I am currently sitting at a really weird angle. Oh my gosh, I can't even do it. I'm sitting at a weird angle because I'm trying to be able to record it at the same time. But you'll see in the preview, hopefully, that I can do my own move. So then you drop it on top. That is where you're left in biddle. And then essentially this dealer's grip with your index underneath and you give it a spin on your finger. Make sure you really give it a spin around and keep that index in contact with the top and that'll help it stay together. I think with a clumpier deck, you should get it to spin and not lose cards, but this is a newer, uh, fluffier deck, if that's even a good word to use for cardistry. So, I'll do that again, slow-mo, pull over the middle, pull over again with the middle, or we'll start from the very beginning, break off with ring and fleshy part of your hand, break off, a smaller packet than that, break off, pull with the middle, turn it over halfway, reach over, pull it over again, thumb slides off a card, pinky turns that halfway over face up, ring turns it face down again, this hand comes up to grab a swing cut bottom packet, not the top packet, the bottom packet with your middle on the long side here, thumb on the long side here, pulls it over, readjusts mid-air to finish the rev cut, 
when that closes, the ring finger will be close to a position to rotate that packet over again. And then when that face up packet goes face down, you can drop it all together, spin it on top like this. And you guys have just learned Ballard. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching the tutorial for Ballard. I have tried to do this outro five times, so let's see if I can really get this right. I'm so thankful that you guys watched this tutorial. I really like teaching it. I would really appreciate it if you guys showed me videos of you doing it or tagged me on our Instagram. We'll get to that in a second, but um, I love watching people get the moves down that I know, and I've enjoyed really interacting with you guys on Instagram and YouTube this week. Um, since Cardistry Con 2022, I've gotten to talk with a whole bunch more of you, so it's really exciting to do that, and thanks for all your communication. So if you want to, also leave a comment on this video. I'd love to comment back, but I have touched the mic seven times. Um, <laughs> without further ado, let's jump into, if you've been here for a while, housekeeping. So I work for X, X oh my gosh, I'm going to ruin it again. We're just going to do it. I work for Xdex <laughs> on, uh, online. You can look up our shop at x-dex.com. That is a shop where we resell rare decks of cards. We produce two of our own original decks that you can kind of see in the background over here and over here, our lo-fi and our Sukuyomi deck. Um, and yeah. Uh, we sell those. The Kickstarter is still going for the lo-fi deck, so if you want to check that out, you can support us. We've reached like 169%, which is crazy. Um, so I think we're almost at $6,000 funded when our goal was $3,500. So if you want to continue supporting us and support the next deck coming out, you can go check that out and check out our trailer. I'll put in the link. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram at xdexrarecards. I always comment back. You can look at all the comments on there. I'm always sending DMs to people. I've really gotten my hours in this week messaging you guys um, just from interacting with you guys at the con or if you guys are new followers messaging you online uh, also i've done a lot of trading with you guys and a bunch of deck exchange so i have really enjoyed interacting with you guys and also please subscribe to our youtube channel i think we just hit 700 so you guys know what that means in the next video we're gonna have to do a giveaway for 700 so stay tuned we do instagram giveaways all the time and youtube giveaways uh, pretty frequently so uh, thank you guys so much for watching the tutorial today i will be excited to see you guys in the next one and please leave me a comment or something letting me know uh, what you liked about this one or a move you liked in the past just for fun because I like interacting with you guys. But I'll see you in the next one and bye.